idcwoodcraft.com. Hello, my CNC brother or sister. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, the company you get your CNC router bits from. If you have a long mill MK2 or MK1 CNC router, when you assembled it, you had these anti-backlash nuts to install on your machine. Well, these work okay, but you probably had a little experience of maybe the machine binding and trying to get this adjusted right when you have to tighten that up to take the slack out of the lead screw here. Well, Long Mill has since improved these to this style here. And what this does, as opposed to having this little fork type of contraption that's going to pull on the threads or push on the threads, this actually squeezes the threads together, it squeezes together and prevents the backlash that way. So if you have a long wheel MK2, then I would suggest that you get these, they're relatively inexpensive, and replace these, the old style anti-backlash nuts, with the new style. And they will go right into the area right in here uh, for the, your for your Y rail, and then of course for your your X rail, which you can see mine is apart at the moment. That's because I'm servicing my long mill deep dive service. It's been running for two years, and I haven't really tore it apart to really clean it up. And with any CNC router, you want to maintain it uh, periodically, and every once in a while, do a very deep dive cleanup on it, maintenance on it make sure all the bolts and fasteners are tight. So the reason I'm doing this too is because I'm adding a spindle to my long mill. You probably have the Makita router on your long mill and you know how, my, how loud that is and sometimes <laughs> they burn out and you might have experienced that. That's why I'm upgrading to a spindle. There's spindle kits that are available for the long mill MK2 made by Pawn CNC. It's basically a plug and play. It takes a little while to get it changed over, but the plug and play part of it, where you just plug the controller into the, the machine controller over here, and once you have that done, you'll have a spindle on your machine, which will run much better and last a lot longer and run a lot quieter. With the anti-backlash nut, you want to make sure that the spring loading and the screws is pointed towards the front of the machine. And it should just screw right into the lead screw. And I'm going to leave about an inch, two inches hanging out. So now we're, I'm going to place the nuts into the hex holes. And I'm just going to turn it slightly. Uh, when you put the nuts into the X holes, you want to make sure the nylon is facing this way, the little red ring that you're going to find on your long mill nuts. I'm slowly bringing the gantry back until I can see the nut holes. Once I'm there, I'm going to put my finger in there and hold the bottom nut and we will start the screw. When you're tightening these anti-backlash nuts, they are nylon so you don't want to over tighten but you want it to be tight so I'm pressing pretty hard against the hex wrench right now so I'm very comfortable with that we don't want to really wrench it over the whole point of this video is to make sure you get these these uh, new nuts the new anti-backlash nuts get rid of these guys I'll link that down below in the description so that you can go right to that page on the website like I said, I think they're maybe $20 for a set of four. Go ahead and get this. It's a nice update on the machine. Make sure you check out the links down below. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, your CNC router bit supply company, and happy CNC. IDCWoodcraft.com.